Hello everyone, and welcome to this new video on IV Physics. Today we will be talking about sample internal assessment questions. And we are going to give you several samples, uh, giving you descriptions of what you have to do in each, and a small evaluation of how good or bad each one is, including what the challenges are and what to look into it for. The first research question involves mechanics and projectile motion. And it involves the magnetism effect To what extent does rotational velocity affect the horizontal travel distance of a basketball and free fall? The student will have to solve for the effect of three separate forces acting on the basketball as it travels through the air. There is the gravitational force, there is the air drag, and there is the magnetism force. While the gravitational force is constant, air drag is proportional to the velocity and, of course, the magnetic force is proportional to both the velocity as well as the radius of the ball because the shape of the ball is important. Additionally, the, this IA can be used to see with simulation programs or spreadsheets to do numerical approximations. Evaluating this research question, you can see that it is graded that is adequately specific. It is a not well established relationship, and it is evident that the results of this experiment have practical value, of course. The magnetic effect is not covered in the IB's basic syllabus. If there are ample explanations available online that include the formulas involved, and although the mathematics, mathematics could be rather challenging, the experiment itself is quite straightforward. However, Using the data to find the exact relationship may be challenging. Next example about mechanics, and it's more related to fluid resistance and viscosity. And the research question is, to what extent does the concentration of these two probes affect the viscosity of a solution? This experiment will require the knowledge of how to prepare and accurately calculate concentrations, as well as find an appropriate method to measure viscosity. Evaluating the research question further, uh, we can see that it's, it is adequate for fulfilling the requirements of difficulty and focus, but there are some challenges that need to be creatively overcome for making the methodologies and procedures. Although there may not be an easy to be recognizable relationship between the variables, there is no need, as long as the student shows critical thinking and that enough research has been done. The next topic is related to engineering physics, rotational motion, torque, and moment of inertia. And the research question is, uh, in investigation, how the moment of inertia affects the final velocity of a cylinder rolling down a nice slope. This experiment will require a student to find an appropriate method to vary the moment of inertia of a cylinder while controlling all the other variables. Additionally, the student will have to study parts of option B in order to sufficiently be able to apply the concepts of rotational motion and understand how they affect the normal motion of the cylinder. At first, at first glance, this research question might be too simple, but it provides a very good opportunity to show initiative and creativity when creating methodology and procedures. Some research into rotational motion should allow for a reasonable control of the variables and provide a tiny equation for the relationship. The next research question applies to thermal physics and specific heat, and the research question is to what extent does the salt concentration of water affect its specific heat? Only the basic knowledge of specific heat and how it is measured is required to perform the experiment. But the student will have to do some research in order to justify the results. The challenge involved in trying to answer this research question is in providing an insightful conclusion. There is ample scientific data that can be used for comparison but the student will have to interpret the data, offer an explanation, and justify that explanation using data specifically from its own results. There is an example on thermal physics and ideal gases. Research question reads, to what extent does the rate of compression of a gas affect the final temperature in a non-adiabatic container? The topic of this IA extends slightly into thermodynamics, but this can be sufficiently described using basic knowledge of energy and mechanics combined with basic knowledge of gas laws. In essence, the 
increase of thermal energy is provided by the mechanical force required to compress the gas to a certain distance. While the deviations from the ideal gas law we go to the heat transfer to the walls of the container. One comment on the usability of this research question is that several important details required to focus it were intentionally left out. These details include which gas, what type of container, and the reason these were left out was that by changing these details, the focus can be shifted to, from the per particular properties of the gas to the performance of the particular container. But this research question is still useful in its current state as long as there is an appropriate title and is followed by a good, good introduction that provides the necessary focus. The next research question, wave phenomena, simple harmony motion, and more specifically, that simple harmony motion. The research question is the investigation of how the sphere's radius affects the air drag coefficient of a spherical pendulum using the damped harmonic oscillator model. To what extent does the air drag coefficient affect the period of a pendulum undergoing that simple harmonic oscillation? Both research set questions do the same set of to find the relationship between different variables. They are similar enough that they use the same equation to answer both questions. But in the first research question, it is the sphere's radius that is used to calculate the air drag coefficient. And in the second one, the air drag coefficient is assumed to be already known based on external scientific data. And that is used to find the relationship between it and the period. These experiments require a dive into the mathematics of simple harmonic motion as well as knowledge into how to solve second order differential equations from calculus. While the derivation of these equations may look challenging, explanations are readily available online and they're readily easily applied. This research question is of reasonable difficulty, if not hard, and is challenging enough to provide an IA of reasonable length. The availability of scientific papers and results to compare the results is also a big plus. And finally, graphing the relationship of the results in a way that proves the hypothesis needs to be handled with care to be able to support the conclusion. The next research question belongs uh, with the topics of waves, wave behaviors, and polarization. And the research question is to what extent does angle incidence of key polarized lights affect the reflectivity? For this, the students should know the basics of electromagnetic and radiation, as well as polarization to understand the experiment. The Fresnel equations already fully describe the relationship of the variables, so setting up the theoretical background and the hypothesis should be relatively easy. Evaluating this research question, uh, it will require some specialized equipment that may not be available to all students, uh, and this equipment includes polarimeter, a uh, set of polarizing filters, maybe a laser, and a light intensity sensor. While the difficulty of the experiment is not particularly high, attention to detail and to control the variables will be required to obtain a high score. The next research question relates to electricity, magnetism, and internal resistance of electric cells. Uh, and there's two ways to phrase this research question. Uh, and every one of these has a slightly different dependent variable and independent variable. The first one is, to what extent does temperature affect the internal resistance of off-cutting batteries? The second is, how sensitive are the internal resistances of different batteries to temperature variations? And the third one is, to what extent does temperature affect the total available energy in secondary cells? The first two research questions might sound exactly the same. There's one crucial difference. The first one will only test one specific type of battery, the alkaline battery, to find the temperature resistance relationship. The second one tests several different types of battery and tests which battery type will experience the biggest change in the general resistance due to a temperature change. This just goes on to show how very small details research question have big effects on how the experiments need to be designed to find the answers we require. The third question answers a totally different question 
but using more energy rather than resistance. Uh, the last question might also seem easy, but in reality, it requires a good understanding of thermodynamics uh, and is quite broad in what it needs to be known. So be careful to do some research before choosing. The concept of internal resistance is quite simple, and the methods of measuring internal resistance are likewise easily found within the scope of the IAC syllabus. The students will have to not only apply the concepts of resistivity, but also perform some research on how battery function, research on the materials inside, and some research on the effect of temperature on the resistance of each of those materials. Evaluating this research question, uh, electric cells, which are already available, uh, is, is an easy way to get a score on the IA because the materials are readily available, uh, they only require basic equipment, and this makes it ideal for a lot of students. Although the relationship of the variables is not immediately apparent, even a small amount of research is necessary to find the most relevant information that will answer the research question. Next, a research question related to electricity and magnetism, and more specifically, the magnetic field permeability. Confirmation of the ability, permeability of air by varying the current of a solenoid and measuring the results of magnetic field. The investigation above will require additional knowledge on how magnetic fields are measured, the equations of how to calculate magnetic field strength, and how the permeability of free space is experimentally found. It is important to note that following the 2009 Metro Convention, SI units have been redefined such that the permeability of free space is no longer a defined unit, but rather experimentally found, thus allowing for this investigation. This research question often underperforms in terms of grades received, mainly because of the large amount of research that is required for students to be able to understand and write about the subject without making mistakes. Uh, this fact it, and this is added up to the fact that this is a well-known topic and any mistakes are that much more identifiable. But this is balanced by the fact that because it's a well established topic, there are many opportunities to compare the methods and results to establish research papers. The last research question is related to electromagnetic induction, the power generation and transmission, and more specifically, generators. And the research question is investigation on the effect of wire gauge on the efficiency of electric generators. The student should understand the basic mechanics of how generators work. Basic research has to be done on different types of generators and how they are built. And of course, there has to be some research on movements to find an appropriate method of building a generator with magnets and copper wire. And the evaluation of this research question is that one advantage of it on paper that the task of making generators for the experiment sounds like an impressive feat. But in reality, generators are surprisingly easy to make as long as you have the necessary materials and follow the DIY manual follow line. If a student is inclined to make things by hand, this would be a very good project for that student. Okay, now that we've seen a lot of these examples of how to write IA questions, how to uh, phrase them, and a lot of examples of real IA research questions that have been used, you should also note that uh, you should not use these exact research questions as your own. There's always ways to make them more specific, make them more focused, research a little bit about them, you can design them differently, you can do so many different things with these same topics. So there's no reason you should have to use exactly the same research questions as it was in this video. Uh, you can just take one, pick a topic, change it a little bit, maybe change the variables, uh, change the materials used, and you can have your own research topic that is your own that you can use to write your IA. Thank you.